Hi everyone, little Lensman Oz and the kids here. This is Worldly Galaxies episode 10. Say hello everyone. Hi. Hi. Oh, apart from Manx, his microphone's still broken. Um, right. <laughs> he, he did have a microphone. I think it was something off a Barbie toy that you had. Is that right? Yes. Jay Morella? <laughs> yeah. That is correct. Uh, no, it, uh, it doesn't work anymore. Um, he's just obviously very, I don't know, rough on his equipment. I don't know. Right, uh, before we go back and continue our decimation of the dungeon, I am going to set up a cobble gen for this quest here, which is Cobblestone Equals Life. Um, I mean, I could probably do it with EMC. You know, it's not not such a hard task. You know, we only need a hundred or a million. Sorry, it's a million cobble. We would only need a million EMC. But I'm just going to set up a, a cobble gen and just let it run, you know, so we don't have to deal with it at the moment. Um, so for that, what I'm going to do is just set up a basic extra utilities cobble gen. So we've got transfer nodes here. Uh, I've got a world interaction upgrade in my inventory already, which is made like that. I've got a couple of speed upgrades, which um, I have... Hang on. <laughs> I love it when I start recording and things lag out. There we go. Um, I've got a couple of speed upgrades here, which I have taught the um, chest downstairs. What did you do, buddy? You made an anvil pet. Cool. Cute. I don't know what it's for, but anyway. Uh, so the other thing I needed to make was uh, a QDS, a quest delivery system. Uh, we get our book back for that. I don't need the second book. So what I'm going to do is I've got a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. I'm going to grab a piece of cobble. Uh, where should I set this up? I don't want it to be interfered with. don't want people falling in it. So maybe if we just do it um, just down in the mine slightly. Just on this level, perhaps. Should be close enough to us to be chunk loaded. Just set it up in this area here. Hopefully it'll be alright. So we'll just do this. We'll grab cobble. Put uh, one of these on top. And then I want to put a bucket of lava. A bucket of water. And world interaction upgrade. Cool. I don't think the speed upgrade is what I need. I think I need a bunch more world interaction upgrades to make this faster. So this will probably just help it transfer quicker. But that's cool. Uh, so first thing I need to do is place that down there and say manual submit. No, select task. And then right click that on there. So that should now be getting cobblestone. I oh, know we lost a couple there as it started to generate. So we'll get a few more world interaction upgrades. I think we should be able to... Put this up in here. They're 5,000 each. So you know what? All these chests here are, are the, the the loot we brought back from the dungeon. These are all, I'm going to take these emeralds. Um, this is all loot that we brought back. Tons and tons and tons of junk, really, uh, which we can use to generate some EMC more than anything. Because um, there's plenty of stuff in here that you know we just don't need. We've accidentally picked up, or or something's happened. And it's just ended up in our inventory. So let's throw them in there and that and that and that and that. A couple of iron bars, a bit of that. Just clear out some junk. Okay, that's another 12. We'll go and add them in. Let's see if that makes it a little bit faster. Yoink. Yep, so it's now mining 13 at a time, it looks like. So that's going up a bit slower. Oh, a bit faster, I should say. Alright, back in one tick. 
Okay, we're back. Uh, made a few more world interaction upgrades. Got to love the fact that it's EMC based. Uh, so I've got a stack, stack and a half, and we are gaining cobble at fairly decent rate. We're up to seven and a half thousand now. So I'm just going to put them away. Um, right. So what do you think about, or what what do you kids have? What you want to do, or do you want to continue raiding already? Continue raiding. Raiding. I'll just need to dump some stuff. Yeah, well, empty your inventories. I got food. All right, YouTube. We'll be back in a second. We're gonna dump out our inventories here and stock up on torches and that sort of thing and some food. And we'll head down to the dungeon where we were and continue our. Uh, trip through I guess. So back in just a second. So this is where we ended up in the uh, the last episode um, when Dragon fell down this hole here and died all the way down there. We drained the water out and got his stuff back. Uh, I think we finished the level above but anyway this is where we are for now so back into it eh? This guy's attacking with a shop. There's probably spawners in this room. It's not in there. There, you got one. Done. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's a hole here through to the next side. Break the white blocks. They're behind the white blocks. Alright, let's uh, have a look behind all the white blocks, does it? I think so. Because there's like two back gaps. Alright, so there's nothing back in these ones. Sounds like someone's hungry. Me. I was saturating my saturation. Alright, you can get cut through that gap. I'll go this way. Ooh, there's heaps of things out here. Skelly! Ow! Make up your mind! Oh, I'm getting nailed. It's coming from everywhere. Got him. Ow. Move! Whoa! <laughs> You need more arrows, probably. Nope, infinite up. Oh, that's right, you got your little pet. Go nuts. It's only for 30 seconds. It's alright, 30 seconds is enough. Someone find the spawner. Oh, I got wither. Need to find the spawner. Stop getting into my face. I keep asking to be married. <laughs> Same. I'm Ouch. about to die. Hide. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have my items back. Why can't I break a block of quartz? Retreat! For Can a you moment. have your items back? We'll have to. Did you not. No, you should have a grave here somewhere. Is your grave broken all the time? Dad. Don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Oh, here's a spawner. That's one. Yay. Ah, keep them off me. Ah, everywhere. There's one there with uh, a panda head on. Wow. Ah. <laughs> They're everywhere. Hey, don't you shoot me? I'm poisoned too. Excellent. That's what I wanted. I'll oh, keep him off our I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> There's a wither one coming. I'm coming in. Get out the way. Alright, I'll cut here. We'll get uh, Jay Morella back and we'll continue on in a second. Alright, we're back. We're um, struggling through this and we're only on like the third level. This is ridiculous. Um, we're getting chests and chests full of loot. Uh, every every corner we go around, there's someone else trying to... Ow! Trying to shoot us. Murder us. <laughs> I'm so... It's and this. Creeper, creeper. 
what's interesting is this is actually on easy mode. Like, the difficulty of the server is easy, not um, not anything above that. So uh, the fact that we're struggling through here is, is quite interesting. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll tidy up this area because, as I said, we got chests full of stuff. We'll tidy up these chests. We'll take them back to base. And we'll have a look and see what we can do next. Because, I mean, you know, every chest I find, look, we've got all these loot bags. We should be able to have a bit of fun with these loot bags and see what we get. So we'll clean this up and we'll be back in a second. All right, so I'm going through and making um, something which I've made a few times lately. Um, and that's an RF Tools quarry. Uh, so here is the clearing quarry card. Now in this pack, it's a hell heap cheaper. We've got base cost of 300 RF per tick or per block, uh, whereas the um, revolution pack it's like 3,000. Um, so that being said, it's fairly cheap to run. I've got a builder, and I've got uh, the clearing quarry shape card, and I've got a flux point. Now what I want to do to bring the items back is a little bit of practical logistics. Whatever that was, someone just ate a leaf, did they? Um, so, if if you watched my Material Energy series, you would have seen me dabble with this this mod. It's um, by the same author as Calculator, and one of the cool things in this is it has a really nifty um, kind of like an ender chest type arrangement. And let's see here, practical. So what I want to make is this here, this data receiver and this data emitter. Um, so I'm going to need to make some cable. I'm going to need to make probably an item router just to um, get the items out of the um, system. Yes? Apparently there's more, there's ample pets for everybody. What? Is it a, 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 a hand in or he just accidentally dropped it Manx. in there? Did he drop it in here? Yep. Uh, yep. Can we have the arrow one instead? It takes iron nuggets though. I will take one. Because it will repair my items. So let's feed it some iron nuggets. How does this work? Do I just right click it or does it just... I don't know if it's working. I don't know how to tell if it's working. I don't want that bow. Hopefully it's not using that bow. Oh well, I'll, I'll leave it in my inventory and we'll see how it goes. Uh, right. So, I'm going to make a couple of things. First thing I'm going to need is the data cable. And you can see here the stone plates and sapphire dust. Now, I had Dragon make me up two of these forging hammers, which are these nifty little units going up and down here. Uh, and I've put some sapphires in and I'm getting sapphire dust. And in here I've put smooth stone. And we're getting stone plates. I think you get like four or something. Uh, so what we're going to do is make up, I'll just make one set of them for the moment, 16. And then I would like uh, a node. Should be able to do that. Actually, give me two of them. Uh, and then we're going to need the data receiver. So actually the data transmitter or emitter is probably the easier one. So that's just some redstone ender pearl and some plates. And then the receiver is going to require an info reader, which is this. And I might get two of them. We um, can get quiver pets. We can get quiver pets now. I'm worried. <laughs> Someone's going to fire arrows everywhere. Okay, so we now have... The receiver and emitter, some cable, and a barrage of arrows going on behind me. Really? They better not kill anyone. Really? No, didn't seem to kill them, but they're not despawning. Oh, and it's not its not part of the music thing. Maybe it's environment. I don't know, I turned off the notebox one earlier because they were playing records. So I need an item router. I'm going to need... Four inventory readers and a data modifier. So data modifier shouldn't be too hard. Now I'm gonna need 
going to say inventory readers. So inventory readers require info readers and chests. So, yeah, I wish these had EMC, that'd be great. Really? Can't you, like, I don't know, let's, let's find out what that's actually, uh... Apparently that's just overwrites every sound level there is. Yep. Just turn all sound off for the moment. <laughs> Ridiculous. There's no way of turning that off. Um, let's see. Uh, so I need... Oh, look at that. Three more of them. And then I need to turn them into inventory. So I'm going to need four chests. Um, we've got tons of chests everywhere now because... Of all the stuff we brought back from the yep the other area, but let's get some wood. Have wood in one of these. I'm probably staring right at it, I'm missing it completely. Oh, well, there's some rubber wood here, but I have too much junk in my inventory. Uh, let's throw them away in the paper. Emerald and diamond. Oh, yep, there we go. Right, they can go in there. I will get one of them because they. What do they? What do they eat? Feathers. Feathers. Okay. Anyway, uh, what do I need? I need to turn my brain back on. <laughs> Chests, wood, wood. That's what I need. Is wood. Let's go over here. Let's get a stack of wood. So I need four chests. Four chests, and we'll turn those info readers into inventory readers, like that. And do I, have, I don't have any sapphires on me. Let's grab four sapphires. Yep, cool. And we'll make this. Awesome. So what we're going to be able to do, I think that's all I need at the moment. Might grab two more chests. And I have the two nodes. Okay, now I plan to use this quarry, this RF Tools quarry, um, on one of those dungeons, not the one we've been raiding. But um, there's one just nearby, and I plan on attempting to, actually, I may not even do that one. Let's have a bit of a look on the map. So the one we've been raiding is this one. Uh, we've got this one here. Now, I figure it probably encompasses a fair chunk here, but if I use a clearing quarry, we're going to end up with a big hole. So if I'm going to do that, one, I may want to go a little bit further away. And two, I'm probably going to need to chunk load it because I don't know if the RF tools quarries chunk load. Now, there's another dungeon here. There's dungeons everywhere in this pack. There's one here. Um, there's one there. <laughs> I think there's another one down on this peninsula somewhere. I do remember seeing another one out here somewhere. I think that's probably about it. So what I'll do, I think I'm going to take, I want to do this one here. So we'll um, head towards this spot here. We'll just, that'll do. Um, I'll head over here. I wouldn't mind a way of jumping backwards and forwards, perhaps the portal gun. Uh, but at the moment, I think we've only got, we did have three portal guns, but we can't find the third one at the moment. Got the one that I was using, and there was two more. Quit it! Somewhere. What do we need to quit? The bow and arrow music. Even I get annoyed by it. Well, people are getting killed by wild cows, so well done. I'm not surprised. Because he punched it! Yeah, skeleton! Skeleton! Right. So I'm going to go and set this 
Corey up and I'll be back in a tick. All right, I'm back. Here's the builder block. I am saying that it's in the bottom or the southwest corner. Um, and what am I going to do? Do I have to shift? Yep. Dimensions are 512 by whatever it is, 250. Oops, not that. By 512, I think is how it works. And we want, no, not domes. Service cop and a bit of lag at the moment. I'm, I'm not really sure what's causing it. Um, so you can see things are a bit, things are going a bit funny at the moment. I may need to uh, finish recording today and either reboot the server or or what, but we're doing solid box. Going, uh, I don't know whether I want to void all these or whether I want to capture them and, and use them. So I think I'll leave it as is for the moment. Um, but that should be that, and we should be able to throw that in there. All right. So that just needs power and somewhere to put the items. So somewhere to put the items is the chest I'm about to drop on top. And then what we're going to need to do is put a node on the side. And then we'll put the data emitter here. Okay, so that's connected. So the data emitter, we'll call it, once my uh, computer catches up, quarry. It will be public. And then this just needs power now. So let's give it access to our network. Nope, that's not what I want. I want, yep, free. That's the one. Yep, you're getting power now. Are you working? You are gaining. Oh, okay, I need a lever. Don't have any cobble. You know what? Let's just make a redstone torch. That'll do for now. Requires an actual lever, does it? Bummer. Um, okay, let's head down here and get some cobble. Really? Really the one place I need... Oh, <laughs> there's some cobble. What? Um, I'm looking for cobble. I dig How? down. It's, it's like seven layers of, of dirt and then it gets to granite not not cobble doing great um, let's see let's get back up where we were get out of the way leaves help what's wrong the arrow music uh, I turned my sounds off <laughs> on all right this is now oh, doing something what did you do? What did what do? You just dug a hole through the entire house. What? There's a hole through the porch and a hole all the way down <laughs> to bedrock at the house. <laughs> down it and die. Well done. Okay, well that's not not what I wanted, but let's um let's try that again. Um <laughs> fail. Uh, can you fix it? <laughs> Beth, the god, hit the ground too hard. Okay. Um, whoops. Fill in the hole. Let me out. That was unintended. Uh-huh. I'll There's a go... hole through the house. I'll have to go back to um, the house and fix it, I guess. Uh, let's see. Let's go one up.
Uh, whoops. The uh, hall through the porch. I don't know why I did that. Should not have done that. It should not have done that at all. Anyway, I'm going to work on this between episodes. We'll I'll go back and fix the house. Whoops. Um, and hopefully by next episode, actually what I'll do is I'll quickly, before I finish up, that's off at the moment, I'll show you the other end of this transmitter. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> Apparently I suffocated in a wall. Um, probably lost all my stuff. I have a gravestone. Did it spawn a gravestone? No, but I got your head. And I'm stuck in the ground. Could somebody help me? All right, I'm leaving it here, I guess. I'll be back in a second. Okay, well, I have no idea why the um, thing did what it did, but it started quarrying here. And you can see it's it's like dug a trench. Um, to me, yeah, I've, I've got no idea. It it this It's not like I had it set to this point or anything, but it's, it's literally quarried here. Um, I don't believe... Maybe it was the way I placed it down. I, I'm not sure, but um, I'm going to have to deal with with that. Um, but in the meantime, just really quickly, I'll set up the other end of the um, of this setup, and that will be to have the data receiver. Um, and I can probably got a couple of cables left. I can probably do it like. Which ones of these are empty? Are any of these empty? That one's fairly empty. How about you? Alright, what I'll do is I'll just pluck it here for now. So, place it down, and then we can set it to be the quarry. So it will receive the data information from the quarry. And we can bring this up. And I think I'm going to need to do an item router. Let's get rid of that one. i to place the item router here. And then we right click on it and say the down will be, no, not filter, back. Down is input, the cable's coming in. And we'll put that there and that there. No, probably don't need that one. And then we will say up is output. So it's now taken everything that was in that chest on the quarry side wirelessly into this chest here so here's the uh the fence from the uh, upstairs area if you want it back kids <laughs> it's funny to trying to see a charge creeper climb a ladder uh so there's a fence i fixed the fence yeah <laughs> anyway so that that's how i plan to bring all the items back from that quarry i'm going to go and muck around with it and work out why it's quarried this side and not the other side. I think we lost a couple of villagers, didn't we? We lost Beth the guard. She fell down the hole? Yep, hit a hard ground. Well, I imagine you would if you hit bedrock. It wasn't bedrock. So, that's a bit of a bummer. I, I, I didn't... I really still don't know why it did this. But, um, something for me to look into. Jock the guard, can you get out of the hole so I can fill it up? please. Anyway. Alright, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you all for watching again. Um, please leave your comments in the section below. You can let me, I'm sure I'll work it out, you can let me know why I derped up the quarry here. Um, I really am a bit confused. Um, yep. Please join us for the next episode. Say goodbye kids. Bye! See you all later.